And so with heroin, it felt like a warm blanket coming out of the dryer and somebody wrapping you super tight in it. I don't know, it was just a calming feeling, I guess, but also it was killing me. seeing more and more prescription medications and opioid-based narcotics affect our community. Like when drugs are involved, like it's never gonna be okay, <laughs> never. And if patients are given seven days of opioids, just seven days, they have a one in 10 chance of being on opioids in a year. While a lot of people love coffee, most people aren't going to sell their car or steal from their family members to pay for their cup of coffee the next day. Unfortunately, the love of opioids can become so powerful that people start to do those things, damaging their family or themselves for that drug. When we started, all the people I did drugs with, there was 20 of us, there's four of us left. And so really drug use today is like playing Russian roulette but adding fentanyl to the equation is like adding another bullet to the chamber. I have overdosed 14 times. <laughs> As a parent, you know, nobody prepares you for what to do when your child's struggling with addiction. I'm sure she knew people who had done exactly what she did before that didn't die, but now she's never gonna know. Can you can you make it somewhere to get some help? Drug use, overdose, it does not matter who you are, where you come from, it doesn't matter how old you are, what color your skin is, how nice your house is, how much money you make, if you go to church or not, if your family's divorced or not. I think we're just in a crisis situation in our country. 